Hello everyone, this is Christmas Sticker Fab. It is 5.30 in the evening here in North Fort Myers, around 79 degrees. I just wanted to do a brief overview of how we got our A-pillar trim installed. Some people have made inquiries, have asked us to do some PPF on those, obviously because this area is really susceptible to damage when you think of things just flying down the road or you're off-roading and branches just kind of hit your windshield and then rub across that painted portion. Now, we will have the outside separate from the top. The top probably won't get hit as much, but it is still susceptible. You guys still might want that, so we'll throw that in as a separate piece. Now, the things that we have here would have been our kit with driver and passenger side. I have some tools. We have a squeegee. A lot of you might have one of these, so these are all separate purchase items. We have sticker fab installation fluid. I love this fluid, and I recommend that you have a full bottle or two around for this installation. I have a microfiber towel to clean off the area and then clean the trim afterwards or clean the PPF afterwards. Um, and I have our sticker fab removal fluid. This cannot be shipped uh, anything but ground because it is slightly uh, flammable. That's my disclaimer. Uh, usually that's to get out marks like this. This felt tip squeegee has uh, a glue in it and if you push hard enough you will leave marks like that but I'm going to show you real quick that those can easily be uh, removed with our sticker fab fluid. I'm going to spray a little right there. I'm going to rub it here. It has that citrus smell. So you might be thinking that you're scratching the PPF but it's just leaving that little bit of a glue residue behind. It's really easy to get off. Uh, anytime you use that material, uh, that fluid, sorry, you would want to clean the area entirely, clean any exposed surfaces that it gets on, uh, just because of the nature of the product is kind of just destroying uh, that adhesive. We can see it in some other areas. I will get that later. I had to install this a couple times. Uh, this side was mainly uh, practice. And this side, I'll tell you more about how I got it to go. Uh, first, we cleaned this whole area off and you have to dig deep into these corners because um, it goes almost under the, the trim. If you have ditch lights or anything that goes through that, they might get in the way, so keep that in mind. You wanna clean everything, the front top surface, around this edge and all around the edge, that seam, anywhere that PPF, might touch, might come into contact. Um, you can get a stool. Ideally, that would probably be better other than um, if you go this route, you'll have to just kind of lean against the door. That's what I did. So a separate apparatus to help you get into this install area would probably work really well. What I did is I cleaned it and then I sprayed the sticker fab application fluid all throughout this and then I came back and I took off the PPF inside here because there was little to no wind uh, I peeled it back a little bit sprayed peeled it back some more sprayed until the whole area was drenched so then it won't stick on itself and it's ready for installation make sure to clean your hands you want your hands to be as clean as possible because you don't want to leave dirt grime whatever fingerprints on the back of that PPF. So clean your hands, keep them clean throughout the installation. If your hands get dirty, go back, clean them again. So I threw the piece on here, all soaked in sticker fab application fluid. And I kind of just aligned it visually, try to get most, the best alignment possible on this trim uh, with it fully wet. Now, because of these curves up in here, the alignment might look a little bit weird. So get it as straight as possible going up the pillar. I leaned a little bit on this inside edge because if you take a rock hit on that inside edge, you want that protected. And then once I got that aligned, I started with the squeegee and started to push out that sticker fab application fluid. Be sure that it is drenched in that fluid. If a part of it gets dry, go ahead and reapply it. You don't want to be doing this installation in really bright sunlight, uh, in the heat, 
it'll dry that application fluid out really quickly. What you want to do is do it in a garage, do it in between that 70 to 80 degree weather, but make sure you have no direct sunlight on it. So I started right in the middle, started going down with the squeegee, getting all that application fluid off so it'd stay in place. Then I went up here and started doing the same thing. So it was looking really good right here in the pillar, started getting that uh, application fluid out the sides and over the edges. And then the focal point will be right here. And when you do this, you'll have to kind of stretch it along the higher edges. And if it's not going down, you'll have to pull it up and put it back down. Use that application fluid until you're ready to get to the final edges. And then I had to use very light heat. If you look at that heat gun, it has a battery on it. It is a cordless heat gun, but it outputs very, very, very low heat. And that's what you kind of want to use on this PPF. You don't need high amounts of heat. Any of the stickers that we've installed, that thing is good enough. So keep a hair dryer around. Keep anything around. For you guys that have that AC uh, port in the back, you can keep your vehicle on, use that AC port, uh, use your hair dryer, or use a very small heat gun. Just apply light amounts of heat so you can kind of stretch that over the edge. Light, light, light amounts of heat. Once you go over, you use too much heat, you've done it. So very light amounts of heat. And that's why this one looks so much better. The last one I tried to line up here and then I just stretched it downwards and I had to stretch it so, so much. So keep this material fully drenched in that sticker fab application fluid, put it on here, get a decent alignment down the pillar and then start squeegeeing some of that out and then work on this part. That application fluid helps you move this around as much as you like until you start using that squeegee to get out the fluid. Um, and then it helps evacuate all that air from under there. I hope this guy is, uh, is a good enough tip for you guys. If you have issues with your installation, basically we will uh, be able to set you up with another order uh, and we'll discount it as much as possible, basically. Uh, we offer these PPF kits in sets of one or two at the time of purchase. And if you get two, that will save you a little bit of money because we get to save on shipping uh, and the packaging materials. So it's easier for us to give you two sets right off the bat than it is to coming back uh, and ship you a whole new set. If you guys have any suggestions, any tips, anything else you want uh, to see for the 2021 and up for Bronco, please let us know. This video is about eight minutes so far. And believe me, if I had done every single part of it uh, and not cut anything out, it probably would have been 15 to 30 minutes because you're going to spend a little bit of time on each side. You're going to learn the material. Your second side will go better, but just take that time. Ideally, you only have to do this once uh, unless you get tons of damage on your vehicle. So take the time, do it in nice weather, don't do it in the cold, and don't do it in the blazing heat. Please like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't, and hit that bell notification icon for the latest and greatest things that we're coming out with for the 2021 and up Ford Bronco.